Good day, I'm Dr. Vanessa Marie from South Africa. I'm a clinical psychologist specializing in oncology. The question here today is, what are some practices that patients can use to help manage their mental health throughout the different stages of the journey with AML? I want to start by explaining the psychological process and the psychological health in the framework of AML. The diagnosis of leukemia is a traumatic and stressful life event and has a high emotional and physical impact on a person and will affect different people in different age categories in different ways. The emotional impact of AML can be just as difficult to cope with as the physical aspects of the disease. And it is natural for people living with leukemia to face mental health related symptoms such as depression or anxiety or even post-traumatic symptoms. In most cases, the diagnosis of AML will rapidly be followed by hospitalization and surgical intervention, chemotherapy and radiation therapy that can be as traumatic as the diagnosis itself and can be at times overwhelming and often outside a person's previous experience. So, so this can lead to acute anxiety, a confusion, it can lead to fears and even depressive manifestations. So in the framework of your psychological reaction to AML, it is valuable to know that you will have good days and you will have not so good days. And you may feel as though you are on an emotional roller coaster. But these different feelings are a normal and a rational response to the trauma of this diagnosis. And you will experience many difficult feelings and changes in your psychological health. And, and, and the changes and different feelings will also be different in different points of your journey. For instance, at the point of diagnosis, you will feel the shock, you will feel the trauma, the uncertainty of what is lying ahead of you. Uh, and during the course of your treatment, usually when hospitalized, when in isolation, um, having chemotherapy, um, you will be confronted with the psychological side effects and also your physical effects. And then at the end, or near the end of your treatment and during your recovery period, there's a psychological shift again, because then you move more towards adaptation of your new life and your new normal. So if I can, if we can quickly look at the challenges and changes of your AML journey from diagnosis to recovery that you will have to cope with. Um, and that can also lead to feelings of depression and anxiety. So the changes and the challenges are the various symptoms of your illness, the side effects of your treatment, for instance, your chemotherapy, and it can be fatigue, hair loss, infections, sickness, pain, long periods in the hospital and or isolation that you are away from your family and your friends and your daily activities, having to make complex decisions and dealing with a lot of uncertainty and unpredictability. Managing the demands of your home life and your family life, or even work-related worries while caring for yourself. 
changes to your body and the way that you look and feel um, changes to relationships uh, loss of libido and due to the time frame of the illness you might give up working um, for instance or you might be away from your work for long periods of time or you have to stop your studies for the time being that also isolate you from your friends. You might be dependent on other people to take care of you, or if you have dependents to help you um, with your children, or you might even have to relocate, for, for instance, moving back to your parents. So to stand still at depression, Depression is a very is very typical for a person with ALL, but it is important to remember that if you feel like this, if you feel depressed, help does exist, and it doesn't mean that you are a failure, or that you don't have enough faith, or that you are not strong enough to cope. Depression is a result of the traumatic side effects of your illness and the treatment. And clinical depression, clinical depression can be successfully treated with medication, um, an antidepressant, and psychotherapy with a psychologist. Your hematology team usually consists out of a oncologist specializing in, uh, out of a psychologist, sorry, specializing in oncology. Um, that can help you with your psychological health and to treat clinical depression. The psychologist can assist you to identify your emotions and to use healthy coping mechanisms. Access to a psychologist. It is important to talk about how you feel with someone you trust or that you feel comfortable with. And this might be a friend, it might be a relative or your partner, or it might even be your doctor or your nurse or the oncology social worker. So apart from feelings of depression, you can also feel anxious. Anxiety can be overwhelming at times. And initially, many people feel a sense of loss of control and uncertainty about the treatment, about the outcome of the treatment, and definitely about your future. Living with uncertainty is one of the biggest challenges um, after a diagnosis with AML. Anxiety is a psychological reality. It, feelings of anxiety after cancer diagnosis are not abnormal. However, without managing the normal anxiety, it may become dysfunctional. It may become too much for you to handle and undermine then your functioning. So again, talk about your anxiety. Talk about your fears. Understand it and understand it in the right context, uh, in the right context, and find ways to work with it. Never work against your own emotions, against your own feelings. Rather, acknowledge it. Own it and don't lie to yourself. So what to do when you feel this anxious? Uh, mild breathing exercises always work for anxiety. Um, and if possible, muscle relaxation exercises, um, focusing on other thoughts, other things, um, listen to music, meditate, keep a journal. That's always a good idea. Write about your emotions, but the most important thing is be in touch with your emotions.